Hi everybody, this is Angela Maraki at the workshop and today we are working on some 3D print modifications for your average American Red Cross CPR pocket mask. A uh, great thing about these masks that we have come to realize, aside from the fact that they fit really nicely and comfortably against a face, is the fact that this mask is from the mid 80s. This mask is modern day. Uh, they may look slightly different, but it seems to me that this um, American Red Cross has been using the same basic mask with adapter for the last 30 plus years. So that means that our 3D printed modifications uh, are very versatile. So what we came up with is a little adapter. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use. So we have this 3D printed adapter which fits onto your mask. Uh, depending on the mask, some of these masks, the modern ones, have a little uh, tab set. These older ones do not. So what we came up with was a separate small 3D printed piece that fits onto this. Then we slot this right on here. Um, this one I'm experimenting with kind of looping stuff back on each other to give it a little bit more snug, secure fit. Um, and I'm going to take my glasses off this. But we have trying to figure out which way this needs to go. There we go. So this it's very securely on my face. <laughs> <laughs> then we've uh, come up with, and we're working on a couple of different ends to fit various filters. This one fits a Honeywell uh, North P100 filter, and that has a threaded back. So whoop, this particular adapter, our Honeywell filter, will thread right on in there. It's actually pretty secure. And we've got a nice tight seal. I can move around. I can breathe comfortably through this thing. Can't hear me very well, but <laughs> that's a side effect of wearing a mask. Um, the other exciting part of what we're working on is adaptability of this part. So we have your 3M masks that fit various other types of cartridges depending. Um, so we have our pink P100. Uh, these you can add a pre-filter which is really nice. It'll extend the life of your mask. Um, and then these thread on. So we are currently working on 3D printing and designing and 3D printing a housing that will have the same back to fit on the American Red Cross mask uh, and allow you to use different interchangeable filters as well as working on um, a design that has a Y shape um, which will have an outlet valve. That'll also help extend the life of your filter. Um, and last but not least, we are hoping to come up with a third modification which will have a square filter and allow for DIY filter solutions. Um, we are looking into HEPA H13, uh, which is a fiberglass filter, so if you are going to try this, we have not yet. Uh, you do need to be careful that you are making sure all the edges on your HEPA filter are sealed. Um, otherwise, we are also looking into a salt crystal solution, 
which is really simple, can be made with salt and soap. Uh, you can find more info on the COVID-19, or sorry, open source COVID-19 medical supplies Facebook group. Um, and we will be posting things up on the workshop Facebook page. Uh, you can also find us at theworkshop.com and keep up to date on everything that's going on. So these are our solutions for the current health crisis. Um, and we are looking forward to hearing what you think and if you guys have any ideas. Have a good day.